Hello and welcome to another video from the Grace Trail on YouTube and it is episode 13 of my Burnley career mode. After three wins on the trot we're finally off, uh, well off the foot of the table and out of the relegation zone. And uh, we're up against Stoke, no changes for this game uh, from the last starting lineup. Ings and Jutskovic impressing in the last few games, Jutskovic getting two. Um, against Hull and Ings getting two against Arsenal and of course that own goal against Hull as well. Uh, we're going to go straight into this game against Stoke who have got Arnautovic as a danger but I think I think we can beat them. We're uh, just below them in the league actually. We're, we're both on 11 points and uh, if results were to go completely our way uh, and we won this game we'd actually move up to ninth place in the league so um, things are looking good for this career mode at the moment. Uh, I've looked at the fixtures as well and um, they're looking quite nice because we've got this game which, you know, is winnable I think considering the teams we've beaten. Oh dear, failing at that. But uh, considering the teams we've beaten, um, like Arsenal and Everton, um, and I think we finally proved that we could beat lower opposition in Hull as well but we've got Stoke and then we have three teams that are below us at the moment, uh, QPR, Aston Villa and Southampton, so um, crucial four games coming up, but if we can win all of them then we might even be pushing for Europe to be honest, so um, we've got some of the difficult games out of the way like the Man United, the Chelsea's, um, at least the first games against them, and uh, now we're kind of into the games which we really can win, plus we've picked up points against the teams we maybe shouldn't have, which have really given us um, a, a basis to go off of now. Yeah, Arnautovic is a danger for Stoke if he's even playing. I'm not sure if I even saw him there. Uh, there's Adam Wingy. He could be slightly dangerous, but... Uh, Arnautovic has got the three goals. The top scorers have been a bit weird this season, actually. I mean, you've got Oscar as top scorer, the man who scored three against me in the first game of the season. But then you've got Willian second, and then Sturridge third. Costa is barely even featured. Uh, it's been a very weird um, time for the scoring. In fact, Ings is... Well, if he can get a few goals in the next game, then he might be a contestant for the Golden Boot. Um... As Kitely almost creeped in there, but he was offside. I wasn't really intending to do that. If we can get a point out of this game, I'll be happy. But I mean, a win would be fantastic. Uh, I just want to try and keep this unbeaten run going because a loss would be a bit devastating now that we're on such a good run of form. And Chalabas trying to get in there couldn't quite. A bit of rain, which is never really too good. Stoke. Usually, I do pretty well against them. Um, on career modes. If there was any, if there's another word for, or not another word, but uh, the opposite of a bogey team, then uh, Stoke would probably be the opposite of my bogey team. I always seem to beat them. I've beaten them 5 0 twice before on different career modes. Uh, I've whipped them quite a few times. And Odd and Wingy, though, has just got in behind us to try and prevent that from happening this time. Uh, yeah, I think Odd and Wingy is going to be quite dangerous in this game. Not great against pace, to be honest. Especially with Shackle and Duff at the back, as uh, that's going to be a free kick. But yeah, I'm, re I'm really enjoying this. Oh, God. Bell watch out hit. Well played Heaton, who has uh, been brilliant in the last few games. So tried to throw it out to Ings, and Ings has actually taken it down well. Jutskovic. And here comes Boyd, who's been very good since I brought him into the side. And Boyd has done very well there. And he's still going, and that's got to be a penalty. No, he hasn't given anything. Might have been a dive, and bloody hell, Man City are losing again. They're, they're still yet to win a game this season, I think. Uh, them and Villa are the only teams now. And uh, somehow, this is a 12th game of the season, and they still haven't won. And now, I, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity against Swansea to uh, go and get their first win, but they still haven't. If Pellegrini isn't sacked yet, I'll be surprised. Um... In fact, if we do well, then maybe we'll get the Man City job. Um, Boyd. Boyd couldn't quite clip it through, and uh, we tried to head it down to one of the strikers. Didn't really work. Stoke haven't really offered much so far, though. We've been uh, 
probably the better side. Got to be careful though, I'd prefer to get the uh, first goal in this game after uh, going behind to um, Hull. Palacios in the middle, um, should be able to outpace him, so going forwards we should be pretty good. Asayidi, got a bit of pace on him actually, I wasn't quite expecting that, and he's actually done very well. And this is dangerous territory now as Crouch in the air. And Crouch, he's found Island, and that's a good save by Heaton. And uh, we've just about cleared it there. Ben may have tried to s slip it into Kitely, but again, Shotton's there. A bit dangerous at the moment for us. Although that should be cleared, and it is. And we've played it into Danny Ings now. Oh, couldn't quite pull away from the defenders there. That's where maybe Sordell is a bit more effective. Kitely, a bit of pressure on him actually. I'm going to go for the long ball over the top, which didn't really work. Hasn't been the most enthralling game so far, I'd say, although a lot of games against Stoke usually aren't. Sorensen in goal, uh, which is a bit interesting actually. Sorensen's like their third choice keeper, I thought now. Um, although they might have sold Begovic, I don't know. Um, Modern Wingy again, definitely one of the forefronts of the attack for Stoke, but not if Shotton's going to get to that. Well, not going to get to that, I should say. Um, they do seem to be pressing pretty well, I have to say, Stoke. Um, but we are still finding gaps. Boyd, Jutskovic, Taylor, no, nope. not the best pass. It hasn't really been great for me as a side so far, which maybe reflects why we are where we are in the league since we are so close although their results have probably been a bit more uh, inconsistent mine have just been kind of coming in batches where I've been terrible in certain places and then fantastic in others uh, his Asayidi good block by Trippier Island, this is dangerous territory again, and that's a great save from Heaton. Uh, we've only considered two goals in the last three games, and uh, I think Heaton's been, been one of the reasons for that, to be honest. I'll probably just uh, screw myself over now, and that's all I have screwed myself over, because someone, it wasn't cleared very well from the corner, and it might be in Zongzi, actually. Um, who is it? I don't know, it's Palacios, of all people. I, I wasn't... It, uh, I wouldn't have said he was going to be the one to score against me, but uh, well, Crouch gets a flick on it. It's actually pretty nicely worked from Stoke there, to be fair. And we are one 0 down, much like against Hull. Um, we have gone behind away from home before, though, this season. Danny Ings and come back. I should add to that probably. We haven't exactly looked brilliant in this game, though. That's a good tackle, though. Trippier, Taylor, Jutskovic, Danny Ings, or tried to just get a bit of space to blast a shot because Ings can hit them. Odom Wingy again. Those the wings are really screwing me over at the moment. They aren't really doing too much century, they're just trying to get it into Crouch in the air. And it's worked pretty well for them so far, and Ireland has done very well. And Crouch has got a bit of room, but he's blazed it over. A dominated possession as well. I, I have to say we have been thoroughly dominated in this first half, which is a bit disappointing. But I still think there's a chance for us in this game. Oh, Odom Wingy. Again causing problems. Trippier just can't seem to deal with him at the back. And that is half time. Sadly we couldn't counter attack. But uh, plenty of work to do here. Arsenal won up against Man United. Villa and Southampton. That's a big game uh, there. Both teams below us. Southampton winning which is, isn't too surprising. Didn't look at Palace's result. But Palace have to be careful to not uh, fall off everyone else. Because they are... Only on five points. Already six points behind us. As a, again, it's brilliant stuff going forward from Stoke. And we're giving away a stupid free kick there, really. There's no other way to say it. It's going to be Ireland to whip it in. 
and Keane. That's a good clearance. Danny Ings, oh dear. That's a good tackle from Keane, but it's still danger here. But luckily they've messed it up. And it's Boyd. And here's Danny Ings. It's back to Jutskovic. Jutskovic now making the run down the wing. One of the defenders has fell over. That's not a bad ball into Ings. It was floated perfectly. But Taylor's touch wasn't brilliant. He's headed it back in, but now it's been headed away in Crouch. Oh, he's found, and this is a counter-attack. This might turn a bit end-to-end -end in the second half, I think. Jutskovic. Ah, Jutskovic hasn't quite been up to standards that he was in the last game, I have to say. And Crouch now. He won't have the pace, which is... What's helping us centrally, I would say. Kitely, though, and that's a good ball into Danny Ings. And Danny Ings, and they made a big mistake at the back here, and it's been played across, and it's Jutskovic, and he scored again. And it's one all, and it's Jutskovic's third goal in two games. And this is a man who couldn't hit the target at the start of the season. Brilliant equaliser. It just gets better. It's Jutskovic again who's rescued us here, and, well... <laughs> celebrating with the away fans a Stoke defence fell apart and uh, that's a cool and calm finish I was actually thinking of bringing Jutskovic off for Sordell looks like that was a good move not to but still now it's all to play for and that is absolutely blazed over by Palacios uh, I think we're going to bring Sordell on just for the counter attacking here and we might as well bring Arfield on now Make our usual substitutions. Sordell and Arfield. I think other players are going to get a bit disgruntled, but uh, don't really care. Sordell, look how much he was pushing that guy in the back. But uh, Crouch. But we're just going to have to try and limit them going down the wings here. Because otherwise, I just think they're pretty useless going forward, to be honest, without their wingers really being effective. Head upfield to Jutskovic, who can win it in the air, and almost does again. And Sordell tries to get through Robert Hoof, though. Ryan shot it. Basically a brick at the back. That's well won again. That's very poor from the uh, Stoke defender. And Sordell now has a bit of room. In fact, he has a lot of room now, and it's Marvin Sordell! Fantastic save by the keeper, and Sordell trying to get his third goal of the season though Arnautovic is now on the danger man that's a good ball in Sordell tries to get the header this is starting to spice up a bit Shackle out wide Ben Mee oh that's got to be a free kick at least a yellow as well he's absolutely taking him out there and there we go yellow card pretty nasty tackle there that's uh, Bojan on as well I think it was Kitely, he's whipped it in, it's not a bad ball actually, Sordell, he's hit the bar oh and bit of a uh, glitch there with Sorensen but I can't believe Sordell hit the bar, I thought it might have been a good ball uh, it was just put in quite nicely and uh, Sordell almost capitalised took the keeper off guard and here's Arfield now possibly he has won it back sort of but he wasn't able to get the cross in and uh, I think we've got another free kick, have we? Yes, we have. And this is another dangerous area, so Stoke being a bit reckless at the back. And that's another great ball, and it's Kitely! And that is fantastic! Michael Kitely, I think it's his first goal of the season. He's, ah, uh, what a header that is. And it's 2-1 to Burnley, and we're doing it again. This is absolutely fantastic. It's a, what a ball by, I don't know what Sorensen is doing there. He's... He thinks he's Superman or something. It's lucky he probably didn't murder someone in the process of that. But Kitely has got his head onto it. Great ball by Trippier. And surely it's going to be... Oh, uh oh, Arfield is in now. Could it be 3-1 just like Hull? Stoker falling to pieces at the back. Arfield. Oh, he's been muscled off the ball pretty well there. We were trying to cut inside. And now this is dangerous. We've got to make sure we don't go and lose it now. I did not think I was going to be in this position after the first half. I mean, we were absolutely dominated in that first half. But we've turned it on its head again, just like we did against Hull. Crouch was a bit of room there. That's well tackled by Keane, who has been fantastic at the back. And Taylor now. Oh, well worked. 
Sordell. And that's out wide to Kitely, and this is unbelievable stuff. It's back heel. Chalaba tries to get there. It's another free kick, though. Stoke pretty much cost themselves with all these free kicks, to be honest. It's pretty much cost, cost them at least a point. Headed away into Trippier, who drives into the corner. It's not a bad ball, you know. Drutskovic, and he scored again. Two goals. Oh, my God. This is the second game he's got two goals. Four goals in two from Drutskovic now. What a signing he was. And it's 3-1 away from home. We're on legendary. And it's another header, but it's, it's, an, it's a second assist for Trippier, who is just whipping balls in left, right and centre. And um, this is absolutely unbelievable. I don't know what's happened here, but the AI have just gone into complete self-destruct mode again. They've been absolutely useless in the second half. Uh, which might be because of maybe the substitutions they made or just because I've locked down the winger for it. But here we come forward again and they're putting so many players forward now and Sordell's gone down injured but Juskovic could be in for his hat-trick here. Oh, it's a good tackle. Uh, is Sordell still down? Yes, he is, which is a bit of a worry and it looks like he might be injured here, which uh, is not good. We've already had one injury with Ings this season. Ashley Barnes can just come on for him. Uh, we do have plenty of strikers on the bench, but Sordell is a, is a different weapon, so it's a bit uh, not brilliant for us that he might be injured out for a while. So it's a bit of a hammer blow considering how much of a good run, run of form we're on, but something really had to go wrong because nothing else has. Juif is on for Crouch. Maybe they should have started with him in the first place, but... Uh, can Chalaber win it in the air? Yes, he does. And Chalaber has seriously taken on such a more leading role in this side. He was pretty weak in the first few games of the season. Kind of getting roughed up against Chelsea and Man United. And then he's just come into life recently. Uh, and that's a poor ball into Bojan. And we could actually possibly get a fourth here if Stoke commit to any bodies forward. I mean, Jutskovic has run his socks off here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to even start him in the next game. And they're just passing it about. I think they've pretty much run out of options here, Stoke and the AI. Trippier. Hasn't been great defensively, Trippier, but going forward, he's been magnificent. And, uh, oh, brilliant save by Heaton again. That was a uh, chance from out of nothing, really. Stoke are really rushing in if... If we get the ball here, then it might be game over for Stoke, if it already isn't. Uh, and that's an interesting ball into the box. And that's another save by him. We've tried to keep it in so he can hit them on the counter, which is exactly what we plan to do now. Jutskovic, he's gone long. Another great pass, and it's Ashley Barnes. Waiting for support now, and we've got it. And it's Ben Mee who's hit it. And it wasn't a bad effort, you know. And, uh, well, Heaton has really been a vital player for us recently but it's another victory it's our fourth win of the season booze around the Britannia Stadium for Mark Hughes but unbelievable stuff two victories in a row right away from home and uh, what a magnificent victory we really did turn it on its head there Lukas Juskovic again absolutely magnificent and that, that is that is the key difference, that shot accuracy percent. I remember being 16% six, in one of the games. That is what's turned this season on its head for us recently. As uh, Crystal Pass got heavily thumped by um, Liverpool. And, uh, oh dear, Marvin's all out for two months. So uh, that's quite a big injury. But we seem to be coping well without him anyway. So not the biggest loss, but still not brilliant. Anyway, we are now up to 12th in the table, which is absolutely fantastic. Above Everton and Manchester City after 12 games. Unbelievable stuff here. So uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye.